pickle a human head in the same way as a salt-baked chicken, and what will become of him? A woman's head was found in the men's bathroom, and he was accompanied by a long-buried conspiracy. On the afternoon of March 15, 2013, the Datong Police Station, Sanchong District, New Taipei City, Taiwan Province, received a strange anonymous letter saying that the police number Chen Wanting's body was in the men's toilet next to the 200-meter pavilion next to the Jiayi Water Farmers Association, please bury it well. I have no money to bury it, thank you, good Samaritan Lu, the police quickly came to the location mentioned in the letter of the well-wisher, and sure enough, in a public toilet, a plastic bag was found inside the plastic bag, and under the wrap of the jacket, t-shirt, shorts. The police saw it as skull wrapped in women's underwear the skull has been shriveled, the eyes are sunken, there is no neck, and the whole jaw was removed the forensic preliminary judgment the victim's death time has been more than two months this head has been refrigerated plus it is suspected to have been salted once. So there is no serious corruption and on the women's underwear that wrapped Chen wanting, the police extracted the secretions of two men according to the letter, the identity of this head is likely to be Chen wanting in the coat that includes the outermost layer of the skull. The police found a note there are a few big characters written on the note, and the identity is Triple Chin wanting the handwriting is the same as that on the previous anonymous letter the murderer is eager to let everyone know the identity of the deceased so what is his purpose? After roughly confirming the identity of the deceased, the police began to investigate Chin Wanting's identity information Chin Wanting's original name was Chin Shu Hui and lived with his two Chin Jiafu both brothers and sisters are marginal figures in society the second brother Chin Jiafu worked as a cook in a cafeteria and Chin Wanting was a sex. Worker Chin Wanting was handsome and beautiful when she was young she was a joke in school from elementary school to high school even when she was in junior high school, there were scouts who asked him to shoot advertisements and ask him if he wanted to enter the entertainment industry. But Chin Wanting in junior high school went astray early because of her outstanding appearance often pursued by some undesirable young people in society over time, Chin Wanting played with these gangsters after high school, she completely abandoned her studies and dropped out of school at home at the age of 18. Chen Wanting ignored the opposition of her family and followed her gangster boyfriend to leave the Sanchong district to get married in Taoyuan district and gave birth to a son, but only four years later, the 22-year-old Chen Wanting was disgusted by her husband and kicked her out of the house with the child, but Chen Wanting, who did not graduate from high school, could not gain a foothold in society at all and was really desperate he could only return to his hometown and rely on his mother to get close to him and temporarily live in the home of Tu Chin Jiafu after suffering the devastation of love and life in a row. Chen Wanting's mental condition was problematic he often wore heavy makeup and walked on the street and smirked at people sometimes when he meets a man passing by, he will walk up to him and ask him if he touches his breasts. 100 Taiwan dollars at a time, 50 is okay, and later, Chen Wanting will stop the taxi and ask the driver if he wants to leave for 500 Taiwan dollars. If the driver agrees, he will get in the car everyone in the taxi driver in the Mie district knows him sometimes he will take guests to his home the second brother Chen's father didn't quarrel with him a lot after he found out even so. Life is still the same Chen Wanting's mental condition is still unstable for many years, she has lived in the homes of two Chen Jiafu until December 17, 2012, 35-year-old Chen Wanting suddenly disappeared Chen Wanting's mother reported to the police however. No trace of her was found the police deduced that Chen Wanting had been killed at this time but why was her head thrown away until more than three months later? The police compared the male DNA extracted from the underwear and found two men related to Chen Wanting, but after a detailed investigation, it was found that the two men were just Chen Wanting's customers, and there was no motive and evidence to kill each other. So the people who were close to Chin Wanting were the only ones left with his two Chin fathers the police found that since the beginning of 2012, Chin Jiafu began to help his sister buy insurance from five companies in a row, and the claim amount reached 6 million new Taiwan dollars for Chin Jiafu, who is in financial difficulty and on December 10, 2012. A strange thing happened to Chin Jiafu's residence, and a neighbor who lived downstairs in Chin Jiafu found that the sewer was suddenly extremely blocked, and some oil spilled out of the bathroom floor drain, and almost all over the bathroom, and the neighbor couldn't see what it was, but he felt very disgusted. But when he went to knock on Chin Jiafu's door, there was no response, and then after the pipe was gradually unblocked, the neighbor gave up, but after the police learned this information, they were more sure that Chin Jiafu was suspicious for this time, which coincided with the time of Chin Wanting's disappearance. The police did not startle the snake for the time being, but launched a further investigation of Chin Jiafu, and in the cafeteria where he worked, the police learned a key information, 
on December 9 and 10, 2012. Chen Jiafu took two days off and borrowed kitchen knives and gloves from the restaurant made up the whole process of the case this is a typical murder and body dumping case the police quickly arrested Chen Jiafu and in the interrogation room. Chen Jiafu confessed to his murder he did all this for the more than 6 million premiums at the beginning of 2012, Chen Jiafu had already moved the mine of murder and insurance fraud until December, Chen Jiafu spent money too quickly and the funds in hand were not enough to submit the next year's premium. Resulting in the lapse of the premium of an insurance company Chen Jiafu realized that he could not wait any longer the money had to be cashed out as soon as possible, so he borrowed a kitchen knife and gloves from the restaurant. On the night of December 9th, Chen Wanting was killed in his own residence, and after the body was dismembered, according to his cooking experience, the head was salted and preserved, and put it in the refrigerator, and the rest was minced in batches with a meat grinder, diluted with water, mixed with some fine debris, and discharged from the drainage hole in the bathroom. Due to the aging of the sewer, the meat was removed from the toilet downstairs, but it did not arouse suspicion at that time, and about a week later, Chen Wanting's mother could not find her daughter, so she reported her disappearance to the police. And Chen Jiafu was temporarily silent he had to wait for the insurance company to pay him the premium, but after waiting for a few months, Chen Jiafu found that things were a little troublesome according to the provisions of the civil law, he can only be officially declared dead after being missing for seven years. And the insurance company will only make a claim at that time Chen Jiafu wanted to hide the fact of Chen Wanting's death, but now it seems that he must let the outside world know that Chen Wanting is dead, so he took out Chen Wanting's head from the refrigerator, wrapped it carefully with the other party's clothes, and threw it into the public toilet in the park in order to let the police find out Chen Wanting's identity as soon as possible, Chen Jiafu also wrote two notes one was put in a coat that wrapped the head and the other was sent to the police a play of a well-wisher he naively thought that he would be able to cheat the premium. But not only did he not cheat him, but he also sent himself to court at the speed of light in the process of hearing Chin Jiafu's case, the police also found his wife Lu Miaomiao, Lu Miaomiao, a native of Fujian. And he left Taiwan shortly after Chin Jiafu committed the crime and returned to Fujian on the pretext of running for funeral the police suspected that he was suspected of being an accomplice in committing the crime faced with the Fujian police's questioning. Lu Miaomiao truthfully replied that he was not in the local area on the day of the crime after coming back, I accidentally saw the head in the refrigerator I was afraid that I would be killed, so I quickly ran away Lu Miao Miao had an alibi, so the police did not embarrass him in March 2015, after two rounds of trials. Chin Jiafu was sentenced to life imprisonment from the original death sentence the reason given by the judge is that Chin Jiafu is extremely filial to his mother because his mother has lost a daughter, if Chin Jiafu is sentenced to death, it will undoubtedly be even more painful. So he was sentenced to life imprisonment at least his mother can still have something to worry about this video ends here thank you for liking, following and commenting on the collection we'll see you next time.